Hey everyone, this is Alex with Stockton Car Wash out of Stockton, California. Today we're going to be doing a maintenance wash on this Honda Accord. Hey Alex. What's up, Reyes? I saw how you fixed the vacuum real quick. Yeah. Does that happen a lot where things break and you gotta improvise? You know what, uh, when you have when you have a lot of vans, man, and, and uh, you have to give them maintenance, right? So, for example, the hose tends to clog a lot. If the person vacuuming, you know, absorbs too many things, gets clogged up. If you don't check it regularly, stuff like that happens. So, you know, it's part of the game, man. You have to, again, give your vans maintenance and make sure everything is up to date. Early in the morning, the other van, there was a punctured hose. I had to switch it out. Luckily, I had a spare hose. If I didn't, I would have had to cancel the appointments. You know, Wait, like the vacuum hose? No, the, the a water hose. Water, the you water can't hose. just duct tape it the good old way? No, man, you can't, no. Damn. Yeah, so I mean, again, you you know, I recommend detailers out there, always have a spare of everything. Seems like a lot, but trust me, it comes in handy. This morning I was able to switch it out real quick and then they were on their way. What was the most expensive thing that's ever broken on you? Or maybe that you didn't have a backup and you were stressing? The most expensive, probably a generator. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's funny? It actually happened during the first video. So I had to run to Costco, man. Costco's my go-to. Wait, my first video with this? Yeah. So, so one of the generators. Tell me about that. Alan. Oh man, one of the generators went out. Um, it ended up restarting somehow. Um, you know, but it, again, it's something that you know people aren't gonna carry stock, or you know, they're gonna have a stock of generators at their at their house. So it's something you have to be ready to you know purchase. Um, so just things about the game, man. You have to you know kind of accommodate. You. What's so up, today, man? I'm surprised this customer didn't cancel. Yeah, you know what, man? We woke up and there was a little bit of a mist, like a sprinkling almost. Um, you know, so it's part of the game, man. You kind of have to adjust as you go. Uh, I messaged the client early and I said, you know what, can we uh, can we kind of put like the delay the appointment about 30, 40 minutes? Uh, and she said, yeah, no problem. It makes our job easier. You know, try to dry, try, and, try to dry a car in the mist, almost impossible. Uh, so it worked out, man. You know, you have to shift your schedule a little bit sometimes so it rained yesterday yeah did you get any canceled jobs or reschedules uh, we had a lot of ceramic cleaning jobs at the shop so not no not, not too many cancellations um but you know if we did have to cancel no problem again like i said last time we reschedule and you know you keep pushing forward got it man and now this is your third year in the winter yeah do you already know what to expect or is every year different every year is different reyes yeah every year is different i feel like uh it all depends on like the rain, for example, you know, whether it's too cold, too rainy, if there's too many, like too much condensation out, then it makes it harder. Um, but you just kind of adjust and, and work around it. All right, Alex. So how do you like doing your maintenance wash with a team? For example, does one do the inside and you do the outside or how do you split it up? Yeah, so we usually try to tag team it, bro. Um, so we'll either start with the outside or the inside, depending on how many people are working on the vehicle. Um, in this case, what we did was one person started vacuuming and I'm right behind him cleaning and conditioning all the leather, plastic and vinyl. Mm. So that when he's done vacuuming, I'm almost near close to being done with the inside and then we can both tackle the outside. Got it. So you both do it at the same time. Exactly. Why that method? You know, a lot of trial and error, dude. We used to, we used to do, you know, one person focus on the outside, one on the inside. Yeah. Then you run into accountability issues, mm. right? What I, what I found with a lot of, uh, of my employees was if something went wrong with the inside, they're quick to say, hey, you know what? He did the inside, but it shouldn't be that way. It's like you guys are both doing it. Um, therefore, you guys are both responsible for the inside. You guys are both responsible for the outside. Oh, so okay. yeah, it's just a matter of, of productivity and what will work better. So pretty much they started and then you follow up behind them just to kind of double, I mean, you're doing something different, but just to double check their work. Exactly.
So this is our hypergloss ceramic infused quick detail areas. This is a product that we use on all of our washes, 100% included, um, which is gonna provide you an extra layer of protection. It essentially acts as a ceramic coating, uh, not as long lasting, but still gonna provide you uh, that protection you want in between your, your washes. So let's say you wanna wash your car two times a month, it's gonna provide you with that excellent protection between your washes. How do you apply it? Super simple, bro. All you have to do, you grab a nice fluffy towel like this one, spray a few times on the towel, and then you kind of mist it over the surface. Right now I can do it on the entire hood because it's not hot. If you're working in the summer, this tends to get a little bit sticky because it does have silica dioxide in it, um, which is you know the main form of the in ceramic coating. And all you have to do is buff it out. So if it was hot, would you just do panel by panel? Yes, exactly. So for example, I would consider the hood uh, two panels. So I would divide it in half, spray it on one side, buff it out. Once that's done, move on to your next panel, right? The reason why you want to do that is because it tends to get sticky uh, once you spray it on there and it, it hot, um, the vehicle, or the surface of the vehicle is hot, it's going to be hard for you to remove it. Yeah. Got it. And you said this is sometimes an upsell to a customer. Your maintenance, you hook them up, you know? Absolutely. So people who are on a regular schedule, um, we add it for free, um, you know, no additional cost. If you're doing like a one-time thing, um, you would normally add between 40 to $50 for something like this. Got it. And let's say there's somebody out there who wants that. Where can they get it, Alex? You can actually buy this on our website, hypergloss.us. Um, you can also go on, on our personal uh, Stockton Car Wash page. There's a link on there, send you right to the website. Um, we do have limited stock, so if you want to grab some, go ahead and do that. Wait a minute. That's your line? Absolutely. Yeah, we started this about a year and a half ago, man. All right, and is that the only product you have, or? We actually have a series of five products. Uh, right now, the only one we 100% sold out Black Friday was uh, the Tire Shine. So we have everything else in stock. And you know what, man? Just because you guys are watching this video, we're gonna go ahead and throw in a little discount code, 15% off anything up until Friday night. So just plug in code RAYES99, and we're gonna go ahead and give you guys 15% off your entire order. Alex, so we've been here, what? Maybe an hour or so? About, just about. What else you got left? We're almost done, man. We're just finishing up the mats. Put the mats back in, put a little air freshener, uh, do a touch up on the outside and we'll be on our way. So you were telling me this is a new employee. Yeah. How long have you had him? Uh, it's second week. Second week. Second week. Last week it was a little bit slower than usual. Um, so we worked about two, three days. So, you know, we're still in the process of training. So how do you find employees? Honestly, how, how'd you find them? You know, yeah, word of mouth, man, honestly, you know, a lot of like family referrals. Yeah. Um, usually you want people you can trust. You know, mm -hmm. if they're going to be driving the van, expensive equipment, you want to make sure you can trust that person. So, um, I, you know, you get some, you know, some uh, um, Facebook, Instagram requests like, oh, are you hiring? But usually word of mouth. All right. And um, how often do you look for new employees? What did you decide to hire him? If it was going to slow down a little bit. You know what, man? Well, like I mentioned, a lot of my team is on vacation right now. So the month of December is actually going to be a little tricky month where we're experimenting with uh, with new things, um, new processes. It's going to probably slow down a little bit. Um, we want to focus a lot on ceramic coatings, um, stuff that's going to keep us busy during the winter, during the rainy days. Mm. We want to focus on that. So I decided to hire him because, you know, we can always use extra help. And something that's super important that a lot of detailers don't really think about is if you want to have an employee that works 100% and knows everything by summer, you want to start now. You want to hire now in the winter. Slower, you can train a lot easier without being rushed. I mean, you notice the last video we were hustling. Right now we're taking our time because we have a little bit more you know, flexibility. So yeah, point being, you want to hire now so that they're ready for the summer. What else do you do? So after you're, we're done with the mats, we go ahead and do a walk around, make sure everything is fine. Um, and then the last thing we do is we take a video. We took one before and one after. Um, we do it just to you know, make sure that um, the vehicle is in good condition. If anything arises, if there's any damage to it, then we're not held accountable for it. Wait, has that ever happened? Um, it's happened one time, um, and we determined that it wasn't our fault, so then everything was clear because of the video. Really? Yeah. yeah. So we were able to prove that you know, it wasn't us, and the client was happy, we were happy, and we moved forward. All right, guys, so we hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks on this car that we did here. Um, if you liked the video, do me a favor, hit thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications whenever we post videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.